What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. Today I have the dad master out here with me today. Actually we have Aaron, Aaron's outdoor and we have creek fishing adventures out here as well. I'll get them in the video in a little while, but it's a giant YouTube collab and I've been wanting to fish with these guys for a while. But uh, yeah, we're here to get my dad on his first smallmouth ever. Trying to get a three pounder plus today. I have caught a three pound four ounce out here. But uh, yeah, back out here at the waterfall spot absolutely beautiful had to cross the canal drag the kayaks but we're going to be doing a three mile float so we're going to be fishing this area we're going to be doing a three mile float with aaron's outdoor and creek fishing outdoors so so excited to be able to fish with them if you're new to the channel make sure you click that subscribe button let's go ahead and get to it All right, just put the old kayak in the river. I'm gonna be jumping in the thing now. Just trying to get all my footing situation settled. Got the jerk bait on. I already know that the jerk bait is gonna be an absolute killer today. We're gonna go catch up with my dad. He's already paddled up a little ways and started fishing. All right, everybody, I wanted to stop the video and tell you about today's sponsors, Shop Carl's and Mystery Tackle Box. There's actually a big 10 year anniversary sale going on shop carl's probably the biggest one they've ever had you can get a free guggen squad green series rod when you spend 150 dollars on guggen squad products on the website if you spend over 50 dollars, you get like a mystery surprise box you can also order like a 10 year worth of mtb subscription for super cheap so so make sure you check that out on the mystery tackle box and shop carl's website links will be in the description below but definitely go check out the 10 year anniversary sale so let's get back to the video Got one. So this is the first Bartrams of the day, a really small one. Grab that and take a look at it. This is a Bartrams bass. They look pretty similar to a smallmouth, but if you catch one that looks like that, it's a Bartrams. Well, we fished out in the main part right below the waterfall back there. We didn't do too hot. But the good thing about it is, thankfully to Aaron from Aaron's Outdoors, thank you, bro. He parked his truck downstream. So we're going to be able to float down three miles. And uh, this is where I caught my uh, three pounder a couple years ago was right down this lower part of the stream. And I'm thinking that's really where these smallmouth stay is. I think they're wanting that more swift water down through there. So we're going to just fish the top. And then there's a left side and the right side. We're gonna get we're gonna go down the right side. Hopefully we can get us a a big one. My dad hasn't caught anything yet. I've caught two Bartrams. So I'm thinking down here is the move. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Beautiful spot. See a gar right there. Oh, it looks so perfect over here. It's crystal clear. Largey. My first large mouth of the trip. Ow. So I'm at a Bartram's and a largemouth currently. A little video of largemouth. I was about to say these largemouth are super lazy. So they'll be in the areas of the river where the current's just not that strong. And these smallmouth and the Bartram's will be in the swiftest areas. I just had three smallmouth following my bait and none of them would commit. Does that say something about my bait? Or my... 
There we go. Another Bartrams. Throw him back. We looking for a smally boy. Smally, 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 smally. Let's go. We're looking for the smallies. I'm already liking this bottom section a lot more than I was liking the top. Don't let this one come off. I'm coming to you. Is that a smallie? I don't want to run into you. I'll take a picture of you though. First smallie ever. They fight, don't they? They don't give up. Hey, you get on a three pounder, man. Almost a 15 incher. Basically right at 15. It's a good one. That's the thing about those smallies, like I said, they got a little mouth, but boy, they fight like a, you know. I know it was. That other one looked closer to three pounds. There's big ones in here. There was a school. That's one of them. My first smallie of the day, it's a little one. A small mouth. But there's a school, like four of them over here that are like two pounds, just swimming together. I threw the uh, finesse worm in on that one and got him first cast. Absolute beauty of the little Bartrams. Good smallmouth right here up under the bridge. Gonna chunk you back in. Ought to be some more, especially right here up behind these pylons. Ought to be really good spots. Yeah. Look at that Bartram's bass. Absolute beauty right here. Probably one of the prettier ones ever caught you guys can see that another smally they are back there man I don't want to leave it. Currently going down some rapids backwards, but second smally. Hey, this place is full of them. We've popped like four fish right out from behind this bridge. Two smallmouth I got. Two smallmouth and a Bartram. Don't even want to leave it, man. They're like right behind the bridge over here. Well, everyone, the day's about halfway through. We floated about halfway down. 
my dad caught about a uh, little less than a two pound smallie but he had a three or so pounder on the first one so his first smallie not too bad almost two pounds and then after that he's literally outfished me he's probably caught eight or nine smallmouth probably five or six bartrams through this float right here and uh he caught a large mouth we've all we both caught all three all species and uh just floated right here up under the bridge and aaron and them are a little bit ahead of us but we're slowly catching up my dad's taking his sweet time over there right now i think he's fishing a worm or something but right there under the bridge i got like three or four fish back to back and the water was so swift right there because they have half the bridge blocked off but uh yeah that was a really good spot hopefully i'll find another spot like that so without any further ado let's go ahead and get back to fishing Alrighty, we are almost back at the kayak launch. I have this beautiful cypress tree right here behind me. Savannah moss, more of them right here. So absolutely beautiful spot. I love, I, I love trees like this. We probably got another 100 yards till it's time to pull out. The last stretch of this river actually hasn't been that great, which is kind of disappointing. But I'm hoping these last 100 yards, something crazy will happen. That'd be some really good luck. And then we're gonna like be heading home and get something to eat because I'm absolutely starved to death. But I just wanted to stop here and appreciate this spot. But let's go ahead and get back to it. This, we, we have this big of a YouTube squad out here. <laughs> wow, we got all the Georgia guys down Biggest here. collab I've ever seen. <laughs> well, we had to go take Blake's truck to run and get my truck and John's truck. So we're going to see you guys back at the kayak launch and here in just a second. We're all going to meet up. I'm going to introduce you to everybody. So we literally just pulled up to drive across this railroad track and they're just parked dead on top of it. So I'm guessing we're going to have to go get the kayaks and literally drive, pull them around this train. Like what a terrible spot to park right here in the middle of the road. Like you've blocked us out and you've blocked everybody in. I don't know how long that train's been sitting there, but wow, you had one job and you failed at it. So I meant to get you on my outro. I'm gonna get everybody else on oh, it yes. too. I know, I gotta get them. But we're with John from Creek Fishing Outdoors. I'm sure everybody on my channel's probably heard of you, especially if they've enjoyed all my little creek and river adventures lately. But uh, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out, subscribe to his channel. You're like a teacher, right? Or you were? Well, I, I'm, I coach basketball. But. Okay, I knew it had something to do with school. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we're gonna be meeting up with Austin and Aaron over here in just a second. And I think they're trapped in as well. So are you trapped in? So did they like just now park there or what? Yeah, they could have, if it's two feet further up, we could like get past. Look at this tan line. Oh, oh my dude. gosh. <laughs> Let me get that. <laughs> oh hey, my God. gonna be dying. Oh my God. No, dude, it's bad. <laughs> that looks like it hurts already. <laughs> All right, so we finally made it out with Austin and Aaron. Aaron's currently dying from sun poisoning. Look at my uh, legs, dude. That's painful. And then Austin's currently trapped. His truck's right there, and the train is blocking us all. So I guess we're just going to... I guess we're camping. Yeah. yeah. Go back to fishing. Go Austin's camping, and I'm about to load my kayak up and leave. I'm fixing to start casting. <laughs> I know. 